Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed, and today we're going to be doing a video on things to consider when you're buying a smoker. I get asked all the time, you know, what's the best smoker out there? Which smoker do I need to buy the next one? Well, there's really no perfect answer for that because there's not one smoker that's going to fit everybody's needs. If you're like me, you got a problem and you got a bunch of smokers, and I just love cooking on them all, but there are some things that you have to consider, and it's going to help you narrowing down your search or, or give you some consideration or some direction when you're going to buy that new smoker. So the very first thing that you have to consider when you're buying a smoker is how much money do you have? What's your budget? That's what I always tell people. You've got to figure out where you're at. Do you want a lower end smoker, something that's not gonna break the bank? I consider those, you know, the 200 to $400 range. There's a lot of options in there. You can build your own. The drums are great in there. Weber Smoky Mountains are some great smokers. Those type smokers that you can get into for under 400 bucks are great starting points. Now you also have mid-level smokers where you can get into some of your pellet grills that are great value for the money, or even some more traditional smokers that are in that range. And I consider the higher end smokers anything over a thousand bucks. So the main point to consider first step is always set you a budget and that's going to kind of focus you on which way to go. So the second thing that you want to consider when you're buying a smoker is the use. You've already figured out how much money you had to spend on it. Now what are you going to use it for? Is it going to be for cooking at home like your backyard patio setup like I have here? Is it going to be for doing some comps with it? Taking it out, hauling it around, putting it on a trailer or unloading it out of a truck? Or are you going to try to make some money with this pit, whether it's catering, fundraising, food truck, whatever you're going to do, you've got to figure out that purpose. That's going to be the deciding factor after you know the budget. If you're hauling the smoker around a lot, you're not going to want a ceramic grill. It's harder to move those around. If you're wanting to use something for at home use, you can get something that's more permanent, more stationary that you're not moving. You know, if you're taking it to a church to cook a function, you're going to want something that's easy to hook up to and to move around. But whatever the use is, it's going to determine what kind of smoker you need to buy for that. So after you've got your budget, and you know what you're gonna use it for, then we need to start thinking about the capacity. Like how much am I gonna to need to cook? And usually, you know, whatever it is, I think of the biggest cook I might have that year. If I'm cooking at home, maybe, you know, it's probably pretty much gonna be for family or for friends. I'm not gonna need the most capacity. But if I'm doing comps, you know, I gotta be able to get all those meats on that grill. Or if I'm doing a big fundraiser, I wanna be able to cook enough to where I'm not killing myself or overcrowding the smoker. That's where capacity comes in. The next one would be footprint. You know, how much space is this smoker going to put up? You, want, you don't want to buy one that's not going to fit on your patio or that's going to be too big for the trailer you have or to get in your truck. The footprint also can be where you're going to store this. If it's, you know, a fundraising grill, what are you going to do with it when you're not using it? You've got to think about the size of that smoker and what it relates to where you have to put it and where it's going to stay. You want to think about what style of cooking you like to do. And this is where it kind of comes into a little bit of a personal preference. Because, you know, you've got some people out there that are more your barbecue traditionalist. They're the guys that want to fight the fire and it's all about staying up all night or spending those long hours on the pits. I'm going to tell those guys, hey, you know, you might want a stick burner, something that you really got to tend the fire. But if your style's more, I want to set it and forget it. I want something that's easy to control. You might be more of a pellet grill. So once you figured out how much money you have to spend on it, what you're going to use it for, the capacity of it, your style of barbecue, those are the main factors to think about. But there's also some other things. I mean, I like to think about versatility. Do I need a cooker that's going to do a little bit of it all? You got your pellet grills, your ceramic grills. Those grills can not only smoke low and slow, but you can sear on them. You can bake on them. Now, you know, you might want one grill that does it all. That's where it becomes versatile. You also want to think about durability. How long is this grill going to last? Also, you want to consider accessories. What all is available for this grill? Do you have to spend a lot of money to buy other things to get it to cook the way you want to do it? Uh, there's all kinds of stuff out there like that that can make the price of that grill go up just because of the accessories you have to buy for it. Another thing is the fuel. What type of fuel are you going to run? I mean, are you going to have a good source for wood if you get a stick burner? Do you have some really good charcoal in your area? Uh, do you want to spend more money on a pellet grill because pellets cost a little bit more than your charcoal and wood? All those are things to consider, uh, you know, when you're getting ready to buy a smoker. 
What I suggest is just put it down on paper, think of all the possibilities, because the last thing that I like to say is research is key. The internet is a really valuable tool. You can find some great information on smokers, not just from manufacturers' websites, but there's forums out there. There's people doing videos like I do out there. But just sit down and do some research. You want to be really happy with that purchase, and you want to buy a smoker that's going to last you a long time. So I hope this gives you some ideas or some things to consider when you're gonna buy a smoker. Now I know that you know there's no perfect smoker out there. That's the main thing to take away from it. Just put a little research in, think about your budget, what you're gonna use it for, what kind of style you're gonna be smoking, and put some thought to it. That's the best thing that I can tell you. I hope this video helps you a little bit. Thanks for watching today. Appreciate you checking out our channel. Subscribe to it. We're gonna be putting out new videos all the time. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see y'all next time.